Well, turning now to one of the biggest stories in the world right now, the death of Queen Elizabeth II. And the Queen was extremely popular in England and around the world throughout much of her reign. There are questions if her popularity will translate to the monarchy's new king or if the royal family's dominance is perhaps in jeopardy, both on the world stage and pop culture. You know, King Charles's popularity soaring right now, but he's still not nearly as popular as Queen Elizabeth was. So I want to bring our panel back. You know, I spoke to a royal expert last weekend and the Queen consistently received an 80% or higher approval rating. King Charles before this moment never above 47%. Do you think the monarchy can survive with King Charles III? Megan, I'll start with you. Well, I think it can. You know, we need to look at the fact that um, the Queen was actually more popular than the institution of the monarchy itself. So I think we need to look at why she was so popular. And part of that is that uh, she really represented the um, symbolism of Britain and not partisan politics. And that's something that her son has not done so far. He's taken up um, some pretty spicy political causes like uh, environmentalism and uh, anthropogenic climate change. And so I think if um, if he wants to match his mom's level of popularity, he needs to do what she did and just be a symbol of the strength of the nation. Dr. Corte, what do you think? I think uh, I think King Charles needs to make his own way. I think he needs to uh, be authentic. I think that is what the monarchy uh, needs the most. Uh, he has had a very um, uh, interesting uh, uh, time on the world stage. Uh, you know, this is the former husband of then Princess Diana. I mean, she rest in peace. You know, um, I think there are folks that are rooting for Charles to um, do well. I think the jury is out. Um, I think he'd actually be wise to lean into some of his activism around climate change and uh, some of his activism around immigration reform. Uh, in, in an effort to, to update the monarchy and, and make them all the more relevant. Yeah, we're winding down the clock, but Angela, in about 20 seconds, is, is activism his path forward? Is that how he's going to make his mark? No, I don't think so. I think the queen was because she actually was not politically active and she just unified the country because she tried to stay out of politics. You know, I think as a child, you think you want to do this role. This is like the dream. But I think poor, poor King Charles, this is a tough road. Jason, what do you think? I see you smiling there. Yeah, just stay out of politics, do what you're supposed to, which is the cheerleader for the country. Dr. Corte, Megan, Jason, Angela, I so appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for rounding out this uh, diverse roundtable, a whole lot of opinions, but we need to be able to come together and have that conversation, right? Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.